Okay, so I am back to show you how to make your beef stew. Easy, easy, easy. We will take the vegetables that I've already pre-cut, carrots, potatoes, celery, and onions, and we will fill the jars up, starting with your carrots. I'm doing this by hand. I've done washed my hands. I've done pre-washed my jars, got them ready to go. And we are more potato and carrot lovers in this family, so each jar will have very little celery and onion, just enough for the flavor. So you will have about that much of the vegetables and then the rest will be meat. You just, I just bought this beef stew meat already pre-cut and I will place a few pieces on the top there as so. Then I will fill the rest with the, you can either use chicken broth or beef broth and the spices that I will be putting in there. It'll be about a little bitty, I don't know. I don't measure, maybe a little um, pinch in each palm of my hand. Oregano, Italian seasoning, and garlic salt is what I've chosen. So I will be back when I get ready to put the broth in and put the jars, and I've already got my canner going. I've got um, water in there getting warm so that when I put my jars in there, it won't take as long to heat up to temperature. I'll be back. Okay, so I'm back, y'all. I have my jars all full, and now I will add my broth, leaving one inch headspace. I've already got this one open, ready to go. Maybe. All right, here we go. And you can also use just water and bouillon, beef bouillon cubes, just as long as you get the flavor. I've already added my spices. And again, my spices were oregano, garlic salt, and Italian seasoning. You can pretty much use whatever you would use in a regular beef stew or roast. Thyme would probably be good. Bay leaves would be good. My last one, I ran out of broth, so I will do the water and the bouillon cube. Long as the seasoning is in there, we are good to go. On my back burner back there, I have my lids and rings. They, are, they will be warmed up, but not hot for this process. Then I will place the lids and rings on and I will drop them into the pressure canner. I will put the lid on, this lid. I will put that on. I will not add the jiggler until the, until the um, stream has been going for 10 minutes. Then it will be a 90 minute pressure and all of the ingredients are raw. Uh, none of the, 
vegetables, none of it has been cooked. So when it comes out, when the timer goes off, you will turn the stove off, you will leave. You will leave it, uh, the jiggler alone. You will make sure to let it cool down on its own, removing it off the hot burner. I'm just topping these off with the water since they've got the chicken broth in it. Or the chicken, chicken bullions in it. You can use beef, you can use whatever seasoning. I can't wait till fall and winter and when I will have these all ready to go when my family needs something. They will be good. Won't have to worry or stress someone not feeling too well. I can take them a meal and they can heat it up and enjoy a nice meal. Sounds like my husband is in the other room. I don't know what he's in there doing, but I do hear him. What are you doing in there, babe? I don't know. Might be the dogs moving around. All right. Okay, I'm ready to put the lids on. This little thing is handy dandy. Let me go ahead and make sure to remove any air bubbles. That's what this is good for. Pushing the food down in there, making sure there's no air bubbles because if there is, that will cause your food not to process right. Say hi to him, honey. Hi, honey. You just walked in the middle of my camera. So you oh, got to, no, you're, didn't know you were I'm not, I mean, I'm filming, but I'm not live. All right, we are good to go. So now I will put the lids on. I'll be back. Ingredient I forgot to mention was diced tomatoes. I will put those in there and it will give it a great color and a great flavor. Okay, so as you can see, I'm waiting for the steam to come out of that area right there. Sorry, I don't know what it's called, but anyway, um, it has to have a steady stream for 10 minutes, and then I will add my 10 pound jiggler, and then I will pressure it for 90 minutes, and then I will be back when I take them out. Okay, so what I mean by steady stream is, I don't know if you can see that or not, but that is a steady stream. It is not stopping. It is continuously steaming. That will steam. I set up my timer already. That has to steam like that for 10 minutes. Then you will add your weighted jiggler. Um, this is a 10 pound and it will pressure for 90 minutes. Okay y'all, it's been 90 minutes. So I'm shutting this off and letting it Cool down by itself when it's completely cooled down that will be down and this will be able to be unlocked leave it alone until all the pressure is gone and then I will show you what the jars look like as I'm pulling them out and this right here is a jar getter Jar getter. Yes, a jar I getter. Redneck as it gets, huh? Yes, that's a jar getter. <laughs> this is my lovely husband, and he's going to help me out because yes. these jars are hot. Yes. That will give us seven quarts. About to run out of water. Seven quarts there, and all of that there. Yeah. And I say, yeah, it did. Yeah. That one messed up. 